Hello Shamrocks, I'm here with Mr. Ryan, um, a graduate of Catholic Central and class of 2016, correct? Yep. Okay, so um, Mr. Ryan is um, on his faith, jour faith journey right now. Um, he left Catholic Central, um, went to Pitt and studied teaching, history? Yeah, studied history, yep. Okay, um, and then you were called into the priesthood. Um, do, yep. you, do you want to talk about that experience a little bit? Sure, yeah. How you yeah, so um, as you said, I graduated in 2016, and I went to the University of Pittsburgh. And so as I was there, I was just sort of, you know, continuing life as normal. Um, I uh, was going to class, going to church every week. Not, nothing really extraordinary happening, really. Um, and so one, in one week, you know, just, I, I couldn't tell you the day. I couldn't tell you, you know, the time. Each, it was in the fall, but I couldn't tell you, you know, the month or anything like that. I just remember I was sitting in the back of the church, and, you know, that mass was going on. I probably was barely paying attention, if at all. And... Um, I just sort of this question just came into my head as I was, as I was sitting there and thinking, um, you know, what if I became a priest? And um, it just sort of hung with me. I, don't know, I couldn't tell you why. That I just, as soon as I asked that question, that's all I could think about for the rest of the Mass. I sat down and I wrote an email to the Zillion Fathers. Like, hey, you know, I, I, this is something I'm interested in. Can we talk about it? And um, I got a response back. And I guess that's sort of, <laughs> since then, that's been, the, that's been the beginning of the journey. Well, that's, that's really an amazing journey. And it's... So many people um, probably have similar stories about sitting in mass or yeah. you know sitting in their classroom and a book you know dropping on their desk or whatever or walking out of class and seeing a poster. So mm -hmm. um, uh, when people do decide that this might be their journey, who yeah. do you recommend they go and speak with? Yeah, um, I highly recommend any Brazilian here, um, any any of the Brazilian fathers. Um, they they're all going to know you know the whole process you know they're going to be able to give you good advice about okay what what should you think about going forward if you if this is something you want to pursue what's the next step who can you reach out to um they're all they're all going to be great resources wow so this must be pretty crazy for you being back you know where you used to rule the hall sort of right <laughs> yeah that's, sure <laughs> let's say that yeah, so um, this is Mr. Gagne's class. This, you said, was one of the most memorable places oh, yeah, for you. Absolutely. It's such a unique classroom, man. Uh -huh. So, you want to head on in? Oh, absolutely. Head on in. Oh, this is such an awesome classroom. There's always a lot going on. Yes. <laughs> um, so, do you have any stories, anything you remember? Yeah, from yeah. Here? Yeah, so it looks very similar. Well, the one thing missing, for sure, is the, uh, the, the pet snake he had in the corner. Uh, I remember honors biology freshman year. I'd sit in the class when the snake would be like a couple deaths over and just be like, oh man, yeah, I hope that snake stays in the cage. <laughs> that, would be, that would be pretty crazy, definitely. Oh yeah, the, the crazy way you would take it out and walk around the hallway. With it, uh, that was he he sounds like a very, very fun teacher. Oh, right? absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Had a great time in his class. Uh-huh. Well, so let's, let's head back out into the hallway. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we really appreciate you coming back to do this. And oh, yeah, there, if, yeah. if there are any students that feel that the calling is priesthood for them or mm. be somehow part of the Brazilian Fathers, you recommend that they go and speak with, um, you know, a, a council, a guidance counselor or a priest um, in their local church or their parish or, yep. um, you know, at Catholic Central. Right, any of the Brazilians, that'd be okay. great. Yep. It's amazing. So, um, we do have a parting gift for you. Uh. We appreciate you coming in um, to help us. So we have a parting gift for you right here. One moment, let me go grab it. <laughs> oh man. So we have a parting gift here. We have um. Oh, the B, the B, B rice signs. You can oh, take that back you. and hang thank it up. Thank you. Absolutely. Um, we also have um a coffee mug from Detroit Catholic Central. Perfect. And then in here there's a water bottle. Um, <laughs> love that. We're trying to get you definitely all swagged out. Yeah, man. definitely. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a while. So yeah. I, I got to reload up the And then, um, then we also have um, a mask in oh, here too for there you. you. Go. There and there are obviously some pens because CC has pens with everything, literally Thank everything. Thank you. Yeah, so, that's too kind. Thank you. Yes, and, and we really appreciate you though. Seriously, coming back. So um, oh, it's definitely my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Well, well, thank you. Um, and you will be around the school coming up. Yep, soon, hopefully. Yep, hopefully so yeah, and, and this uh, next week I'll be coming in for National Education yes, Week to uh, yes. speak to some classes. So hopefully uh -huh. I'll, I'll see some of uh, some of the people. Well, <laughs> we'll see you, Mr. Ryan, in all of our Revelations classes. Yeah, thank you thank so you. much for coming thank you. in. <laughs>